Alright, welcome to the sum of assessment for Unit 4. We're all done with fences now, so you're going to write a sequel scene. So we'll go over the directions here and talk about the brainstorming and how you'll complete that. So um, the directions are linked on Schoology, and it is all in one document right here with the rubric, but I'm going to go over this in my slides here with you. So basically you're thinking about what is going to happen to these characters now in the future. Now we know that Troy is dead, so don't write about him, but you're going to talk about what's going to happen to maybe Raynell or Corey or Lyons. Pick any one of the characters you want to write about, and you're going to write a sequel scene. Okay? Um, there is a pre-work brainstorming sheet that looks like this. You'll find this on Schoology, and you do get credit for this formatively. So if you do complete this, you'll get some formative points. Okay? Um, but it'll help you in pre prepping for this. Okay, so what are you going to do? Okay, your scene needs to be written in script format, so you're going to have like rows, blah, blah, blah. You're lying. Okay, you're, it's going to be two pages. Okay, so one, uh, two, two pages on Google Docs. Okay, um, you do need to have some, some form of setting, so tell us at the beginning where are we. Okay, are we still in the same place or have they moved somewhere new? Okay, and you will need some some form of action. Obviously, we had punches being thrown. We had people coming in and out of the scene. Okay, so you will have some form of action, and that remember is written in italics. So that was all the narration piece that I read when we were reading out loud. Okay, and then at the end, after your two pages of script, you. You're going to have a rationale of 200 to 300 words that tells us more about your scene and why you chose to write um, about what you did, okay? Some things to think about, okay? <coughs> think about what are our characters' ages, okay? Are you going to jump in time so that they're older? Okay, what is their social status, their history? Of course, you can use the book and look back at things. If you want to go back to the historical context that you're supposed to complete, remember now we're in 1965 are you going to keep it in that same time period and what's going on in the country during that time or are you going to jump ahead okay so think about history when you're writing your scene um of course be thinking about those themes and motifs that we've explored and you can of course google things that you need to google it is creative writing so do your best to be as creative as possible um don't forget to write those stage directions okay and okay Maybe one of your characters is going to talk a lot, and they're going to have a long monologue. Troy had several. Rose had a couple that we read, so maybe there's a section that is a lot longer. Okay? It doesn't need to be academic language, of course, because they are not writing as if they are in school, or they're not talking like that. Okay? So you can use similar dialogue like they had in the play. Okay? Um, your rationale, okay, needs to include um, why you chose... To write about what you did so and you're writing in first person you're writing i wrote this because blah 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 okay and you're going to talk about your themes you're going to talk about the audience and how, what you were thinking about with the audience and what would they maybe see with what you're writing and then all the creative choices why you chose the setting why you chose those specific characters to write about um, why you had certain characters say certain things if you have rose say certain lines why is that okay um, so what's going on in your 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 scene and why why should we care basically? Okay. The pre-work brainstorming sheet, as I already showed you on Schoology, is gonna help you. Okay. It starts with step one and choosing what type of theme do you want to talk about. We talked about six different ones. Okay, is there one that you want to center on um, and which characters maybe are focusing more on that theme? And maybe then that's the characters you're gonna write about. Okay. Second set step is planning where it is okay we're take your scene should take place between 1965 and probably in the first next 10 years 1975 would be about it if you're it's much later than that you're kind of pushing it and stretching it more than we would like okay um, but there is another document um, within your brainstorming sheet to help you with exploring what was going on in that time historical time period so if you need more information, you can go to this document. And there's a bunch of links to help you with what was going on in the 1960s, okay? You did not do your historical context assignment, okay? Um, and then, of course, where is it taking place? Are they staying in um, the city they're in, or are you going to move them around, okay? Then the characters are is step three, thinking about what characters do you want to include, and then thinking about the plot, okay? 
So where do you start? Okay, is what's happening? What's the rising action? Is there some problem that they come to that they have to deal with? And you might not get all of these. Maybe you're just dealing with setting up where they've moved to and why they moved, okay? Um, and then finally thinking about dialogue, thinking about what characters might say what, and then just putting it together. You're going to do it in a separate Google Doc, and you're going to include your rationale at the end. And there are some examples that are linked um, in that document, so you can take a look and see what does this look like, okay? And how, do, how would I write this? Look, there are stage directions here in this document, okay? This one is a little bit longer, which if you want to write longer, you most definitely can, and the rationale is here at the end, okay? Um, second example right here, again, has the setting here at the beginning. They've got some stage directions. They've got conversation between Corey and Raynell, it seems. And then they've got their... Um, rationale at the end. Okay, but, so they're just a little bit over two pages on this one. Uh, and example three, this one doesn't have its rationale. I will point that out, but they tell, give you the setting here at the beginning. They go through the characters here. And this is a different one. These have some different characters. Okay, and this one again is a little bit longer. Okay, so those are some examples for you. Um, and you'll put this together two pages, okay? Make sure you go through all the steps together. This will help you if you go through the brainstorming guide. It definitely will. But make sure you have all of the things that are required, okay? And then you submit it on Schoology.